back to the programme. Coming up, we'll be returning to traffic and we'll be taking a detailed look at the weather, but now returning to local news. And a team of Galway researchers is examining how robots can be used to help people with dementia. The team, based at NUI Galway's School of Nursing and Midwifery, is leading a European project called Mario, which is looking at how carer service robots can advance active and healthy ageing. The researchers are developing a companion robot, which can read your book, play music or remind you to take medication. It's hoped the robots will be able to monitor physical and mental well-being or deterioration in dementia patients. Our reporter Daniel Considine has been speaking to project leader Professor Dempna Casey. The whole project, I suppose, evolved from our experience of actually working with people with dementia and realising over the years that actually one of the key problems that people with dementia suffer from is loneliness and isolation. And that that was really something that came forth from all the people we spoke with with dementia. And from that, we came up with the idea is how could we actually develop something that would actually support people with dementia and complement also the health services that, and the healthcare that's being provided within the healthcare services. And we came up with the idea actually of a robot. And we set about working with partners in different countries as to how we could put together a consortium to develop this innovative technology that would actually provide companionship to combat loneliness and isolation for people with dementia. And that's where the idea grew, and we therefore put the money in, or put the bid together, really, for the Horizon 2020 bid, and we were successful, and we won a four million grant from the Horizon 2020, the research and innovation section of Horizon 2020, and that's where we got started. Um, we're now 18 months into the project, and we're coming up to a major, I suppose, halfway mark on the project. And um, we're really excited about the way it has evolved and developed. And one of the key, I suppose, differences in this uh, project, other projects, is that it's actually driven by users. So we've actually had the users to the forefront. We interviewed people with dementia at the very start to find out what they would like in a robot, what would make a robot acceptable to them. And then we went back to find out, refine the ideas further. So continually we're involving the people with dementia and helping us shape what Mario will look like, what Mario can do at the end, so that he best meets the needs of people with dementia. And can you give us uh, maybe a brief look at some of the answers you've got towards that at the moment? What, uh, what direction you're taking the project? Um, I suppose the, 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 the key focus of the project is to reduce loneliness and isolation, which is why we're focusing on companionship. And people with dementia have said to us they want very, as it were, to them very important elements, to other people they may sound not so important, but they want things like that someone would actually be able to make a phone call for them because they can't remember the numbers anymore, be able to prompt them and guide them, be able to find things and say, well, actually, you know, your keys, you've left them on the counter again, to be able to Skype or connect up with their family when they want to, not waiting and depending on, on somebody else. So the whole notion is to increase their independence, to help them to retain their abilities for as long as possible and therefore in the process also keep them connected to society. Because one of the key things that happens when people get dementia is that they withdraw from the community, they withdraw from their friends, they, they don't want people to know that they, they can't remember as well as they could. And as a result, they become actually very isolated. And we know that actually social health is really, really important. And Mario can actually provide the companionship to promote that social health. The reality is our healthcare services today don't have the resources to provide that service. So we would see Mario as complementary to health professionals. It's not, he will never replace a healthcare professional. He will complement what's there. You said uh, earlier that you've, you've hit the halfway mark. So can you tell us what's the next step? What, what will you be doing next? Okay, well, the next step, I suppose, why I'm excited about this is that Mario actually will arrive in September. Um, he's actually, at the moment, in France being fine-tuned, as it were, with, with our partners there and with our Italian partners. And he will arrive in September, but he'll arrive at a very rudimentary level. So he's at a stage where we've used the information that we've got from people with dementia and the expertise in the consortium to, to make him at the level he now will be at, but that's quite rudimentary. So over the next 18 months now, we will be conducting more interviews of people with dementia. We'll be exposing him to people with dementia to work with him, to get feedback from them saying, well, you know, this works, or if you change that, we'd better color that way. We don't understand this, make it this way. 
and that's what will be happening over the next 18 months of the project. So I suppose what, what I'm excited about that is that it's to go and to show the people who helped us inform the development so far. Now we're able to say, well, look, this is what we've, how far we've got with what you have helped us with so far. And now let's make it better. It's an incredibly innovative idea. Can you see it going into other branches, other elements? Can you, can you see it going into other areas? Yeah, I mean, I think ideally Mario has a future. It's not just in terms of people with dementia, but across society as a whole. Particularly, I think, maybe as our, particularly older people. As we age, we obviously aren't able to do things to the same extent that we were when we were younger. And I could see that Mario would have a potential in that in, for older people as well across the spectrum, not just people with dementia uh, per se. So if anyone wants to follow the, the progress of the Mario project, uh, where can they go? Um, we actually have a website and they can follow the latest news on Mario's progress there. And the website is wwwmario project.eu. As the project evolves, updates will be on that page.